Well, you asked for it. What do I do to ensure that during a Trick Room v Trick Room battle, I'm almost always on top when it comes to said battle? You know, I have a very simple explanation for how this is done, so honestly this video will probably be, be shorter than other videos, and I apologize for taking so long to make it. But, you know, before I begin, I need to ask, why did one-fourth of you tell me and my hat to fluff off? You know, come on, she didn't do anything to deserve. Oh. I guess she, uh, did do something to deserve it. Is there more to us than the words we say? The games we play? Can we know that we're not dreaming? Alright, so, how do I give myself the edge when it comes to Trick Room v Trick Room battles? It's honestly very simple, and it plays into one of my philosophies when it comes to Trick Room teams. My philosophy is this. If you're not Trick Room, I am faster. If you are Trick Room, I am faster still. What this means is that if my opponent has no Trick Room mons, all I need do is set up Trick Room, and then I outspeed his entire team. Thus, ensuring I get first attacks off, which is often enough to win the battle from there since most Trick Room Mons are both bulky and powerful, but you know, they lack the speed as the trade-off. But if I'm facing someone using Trick Room based Pokemon, then I am faster still because of how my Pokemon are trained, and how I use most common themes among Trick Room Pokemon and how people often train theirs to ensure I outspeed outside of the Trick Room. Most people tend to train their Trick Room Pokemon to be as slow as possible, often breeding or soft freeze setting for zero speed IV Pokemon to maximize their Trick Room potential. This means they are as slow as possible and aren't affected by fast Jamon since they're slow to begin with. But this ensures they move faster in Trick Room, and there's also a whole weather meta in regards to speed. Slower weather mons get their weather up over the faster ones. This is why Torkoal is so dominant in the Weather Wars, as without a priority Rain Dancer, or a Pokemon that can set up the weather, Torkoal's sun will always go up unless you swap in a Weather Mon to set up Rain or Sandstorm after the sun is already up. Wait, I forgot to mention Hail as well. But back to my training method. Since my Pokemon don't have zero speed IVs, this means that in a Trick Room v Trick Room battle, in a mirror matchup, I'll always have the faster Trick Room Pokemon. As an example, waiting in Gala for a transfer invite is my Glacier who teams up with Calyrex, but said Glacier has 31 perfect IVs and is an adamant nature instead of the typical brave nature. In a mirror battle, he will always be faster than other Glaciers, allowing him to get his attacks off first outside of Trick Room. And against the most recently released Ursa Luna, who are often trained and, and or bred with zero speed IVs and speed reducing natures in mind, he also outspeeds because of this, outside of Trick Room specifically. Given this requires me to play the mind game of who is going to set up Trick Room with my opponent, but that too is something I have hands down. Since I am so confident in my speed tiers regarding Trick Room v Trick Room battles, I never set up the Trick Room. And I do my absolute darndest to ensure he doesn't set it up as well. This is why I don't mind seeing Iron Hands as I know I outspeed it out of Trick Room because again, people try to make their slowest mons as slow as possible to take advantage and outspeed other Trick Room Pokemon. Thus, my philosophy regarding Trick Room Pokemon and how I go about battling with them. If you are not Trick Room, I am faster. If you are Trick Room, I am faster still. You know, of course, now that I shared this knowledge, I probably will never win that matchup again because you guys who battle me will know exactly how I train. But it's still nice to share this little secret to my success. Sometimes I misjudge speeds, but generally I am confident in such matchups that I can win them to the most for the most part. What are you looking at? I hope this helps you in your endeavors. Please, tell me if you have a topic you want me to come up with or if you would like me to teach you something else. 
I think my next poll will be about Terra types and explaining the difference between an offensive and a defensive Terra, and you know how best to use them. Until next time, everybody. Bye bye. When you've reached the point where you can't go on, just come to me. You'll be safe from harm. If you trust in me, then I'll trust in you. There's nothing more that I need to do. If you put your hands in front of mine, we'll be shining through one at a time. Just understand you.